Captain's Log. As the cyclone bomb rages outside Providence, I've been forced to give the order to abandon ship. Looks like I'm on my own for the rest of the storm. First up, gotta check my supplies. Running very low on K-cups. Better use them sparingly. Fridge, looking barren. Fortunately, maple syrup, still here, from our good friends up in Burlington. And of course, all the condiments we've saved from every Wendy's takeout order ever done here at Cat Country. Freezer, ooh, waffles. I think those are Kevin's, but desperate times mean desperate measures. Then of course there's a cookie jar. Yep, it's just a prop, nothing in it. Fortunately, engineering humming along. Station on the air, everything sounding good. Not sure what half this stuff does, but I know not to touch this one. Performance room, empty. No young, brand new, hungry act in here today fighting for their country music life. We'll get back to that tomorrow. Amanda's desk, nice and neat and tidy as always. Brian's desk, yeah, that's Brian's desk. And the desk of Meredith, ooh, is that more maple syrup? Sorry, Mayor. My office, quiet today. Nobody in and out, nobody asking for anything. Nobody calling me, telling me what records I should be playing. Oops, looks like I broke this broom trying to sweep snow off my car. That's okay, I'll just blame it on Brian and leave it here on his desk. Wait a minute, nobody's gonna believe that. Brian sweeping? Sorry, Amanda. Ah, the mighty control room, the nerve center of this giant ship. This is where it all gets done. And since I'm here by myself, I'm just going to play the songs I like. She's a wild one with an angel's face. Quick check back outside. The storm rages on. Somewhere down there is my car. Hopefully I'll find it by Saturday or Sunday. So I'm left to walk these long, deserted, hallowed hallways, basking in the glow of plaques talking about the history of this great country music brand. Some would call it lonely and isolated. I'm thinking, best work day ever. 